uh, it's a great pleasure being here. And uh, um, there's a lot of challenges in relationship to Indonesia, uh, but the, the, the greatest opportunity, of course, is an extremely diverse marketplace. Um, there are some geographical challenges because of the large number of uh, different islands that are there, but a very diverse marketplace of uh, uh, approaching almost 300 million individuals. So that's a very large and a huge opportunity for growth. In fact, it's one of the largest uh, opportunities for growth there is in the emerging marketplace. Um, it uh, it rivals many of the uh, the, the double-digit growth of marketplaces of Africa, and uh, and is only uh, second in terms of uh, uh, the the Southeast Asian marketplace uh, in relationship to in terms of population of India. Uh, just to give some background on our our uh, organization. Uh, Hammerslag uh, Private is a is the international division of Hammerslag Salzburger Board. Uh, Hammerslag Salzburger Board is a uh, an investment uh, uh, related uh, firm. It's uh, owned and controlled by a family office in Houston, Texas. One of its more prominent uh, divisions is a uh, uh, the capital market division based in New York City. It has been a member of the New York Stock Exchange since. Uh, the 1870s, and it's been in continuous operations since 1835. So roughly, we've been a, uh, a firm it started in the, in uh, in the, in the, the old um, Germany, and then migrated over to the United States. Uh, the international division, which is Hammerslag uh, Private, is e exclusively invest in the emerging marketplace, and or we advise a number of our clients that uh, who are uh, large hedge funds, institutional investors, private equity funds, and uh, infrastructure related funds. Uh, those clients uh, uh, and the assets that we have under management or under advisement is roughly uh, $31 billion. And, uh, and we've had a very long and stable uh, investment uh, history in the region. In fact, uh, the first investment that uh, Hammerslag had in the region was in the 1940s, where we invested in uh, in India, first investment in the region, and uh, and and we see Indonesia as one of the uh, great opportunities on on a go forward basis over the next 30 years. In addition to the continuing growth of the Indi Indian marketplace and also the uh, the the uh, African continent overall. Uh, this is creating an investment advised, uh, an investment environment or climate or a region that's built around the Indian Ocean uh, where uh, Indonesia will be very prevalent when it comes to infrastructure, um, logistics, shipping, and also the oil and gas business. Uh, uh, Hammerslock basically has, uh, we have 57 offices worldwide, uh, offices and representational offices. We're in uh, 38 countries. The vast majority of those countries are, uh, are, uh, would be classified as emerging marketplaces. And, uh, and we're very excited about the infrastructure opportunities, the uh, public-private partnership opportunities that uh, will exist within Indonesia. Um, in terms of some of the challenges that we're seeing, it will be mostly in relationship to, you know, how do you classify and deal with direct foreign investment and making sure that there's an environment that's conducive to that and, and transparent. Um, of course, uh, you know, a, a number of, uh, of the uh, investment uh, uh, clients that we have are based in Europe and they're also based in the United States. So, you know, there are a, a tremendous amount of consideration around issues such as KYC, which is know your customer, and also uh, AML, which is anti-money laundering. So we have to make sure that, uh, you know, that, that environment is, is, uh, is stable and, 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 is, and is a easy direct investment for those different vehicles and different funds and for, for ourselves also. So that's where most of the challenges come in place. The other is making sure that we can work in an environment in conjunction to help enhance um, not only the domestic corporations and private investors that are there in Indonesia, but also the government related programs and initiatives that are moving forward. The other area that we try to emphasize uh, in terms of our uh, in investment and making sure that we have the right challenges working with the various development banks 
and that uh, and the sovereign wealth funds that are interested in this uh, very dynamic marketplace. So whether that's working with uh, World Bank or whether that's uh, uh, making sure that we stay in compliance with the uh, IMF, um, various different uh, programs and policies, but it's also working with the regional banks such as the, uh, the Asian Development Bank and then also some of the regional players and their development banks uh, that wanna encourage direct investment uh, in, in, from such countries as Japan or direct investment that, uh, that may perhaps be coming from South Korea or Taiwan, um, which are more developed marketplaces, but are also looking for uh, growth opportunities uh, because you know, their growth level within those economies have slowed down significantly because of population issues. Whereas, you know, as I pointed out earlier, uh, when you have 270 million people in your, uh, in, in your economy, um, and, and, a, and a GDP with the upside, the growth potential is Indonesia, then uh, basically that's why so many uh, of the uh, development uh, countries in the region want to do business. Anyway, as I said, Hammerslag has been uh, deeply involved in the region since the 1940s. Um, we have been involved in a various number of different large investment uh, infrastructure projects. Um, we are uh, exploring uh, and taking this opportunity because of this initiative to, to, to want to enter into the Indonesian marketplace, into the Indonesian capital markets. Um, uh, we have uh, recently uh, invested uh, in a $10 billion infrastructure development opportunity in, uh, in uh, southern India. Um, it's uh, near the town of Manalapad, and it's building a, a, a deep water port an LNG uh, regasification facility, a large new railhead. Um, we also are in, uh, investing in building a, a 2.2 uh, gigawatt power plant there, um, a, um, a freshwater um, treatment facility, and also major investments in wind and solar for the region. The other thing that we're heavily invested in is the opportunities to do business in, in Africa because we see, especially Southern Africa, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Kenya, uh, Mozambique and other emerging markets as, as having uh, the ability to do uh, cross-lateral and multilateral trade uh, with Indonesia and also from the standpoint of the shipping and logistic business. Um, we also see a, a, a future opportunity and the, um, and the infrastructure business of the uh, technology community there. So, um, you know, uh, as was being pointed out by the, the, uh, the, the previous uh, presenter, um, there's huge growth and that's gonna come in around the investment of 5G and the, and the towers and the fiber optic lines and all the other associated uh, uh, infrastructure. In addition to there's opportunities in um, toll bridges, toll roads, um, and, and, and other uh, uh, logistics related uh, infrastructure. So uh, again, we've been investing in the region for a long time. We're very excited about the growth opportunities. We think the very large population and growth of, of, the, uh, of the GDP of Indonesia uh, creates that opportunity. And we know that there's a number of challenges, but we know those challenges can be overcome. 